welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Fantech EcoTouch. The first time I'm going to explain the display that you see. So the first thing that you see on the top is the settings that's running right now. So if you see the fan on the top, that means it's ventilating. Then if you see the arrow going in and out, that means it's ventilating the air between the indoors and the outdoors. Then if you see on the top here, it says vent, that means it's running the ventilation. And then I'll explain the other settings as well. Then if you see here, it says 40 minutes per hour and the fan speed is two. So that is the timer of the ventilation that's being uh, the setting that's being used right now. And then this is the fan speed uh, that the HRV is running with. Then if you see in this box, it says the eco mode is activated with the solid lines. If I press it, it removes that. Then if you see here, this is the speed that you can manually change by pressing on it. Uh, then this is the max that if you want to quickly ventilate your house, 40, uh, 20, 40 or 60 minutes. And then in the options, you will see more or additional settings. So right now you only see the indoor humidity, uh, which is the relative humidity at, at 46%. So anytime you see a solid outline, that means that particular setting is activated. So if I press it again, you see that line went away and then the solid line went around the speed. Then if I press on max, that solid line went around the max. So that means that certain setting is activated at the, pump, at the point. So now I will go into details about each setting that you see on the screen, like what are the other options that you can choose. So if you see right now, it says vent. That means it's ventilating and then the arrow is flowing from the outside inside the house and going out. Then if I press anywhere next to the house, it will change the setting. And now it says see circulation setting. Now, if you see the arrow is just circulating inside the house, that means the air is just there's no new uh, air is being added to the house. But whatever air you have inside the house is just continuously recirculating and then if I press once again, it goes to off. So this is the third setting that you can run your HRV system with. So now in quick, uh, so first is vent, then the uh, second is recirculation, and then the third is off. Now, if I change the setting from vent to recirculations, these settings will be changed. So if I press it once, it says 40 minutes per hour at the fan speed one, but this also means that for 20 minutes, the ventilation will be running and then there will be air circulation for 40 minutes. So that means the whole setting will be running for one hour. Then in this, the second option is it still stays the same. So 20 minutes ventilation and then 40 minutes recirculation stays the same, but the fan speed goes to level two. And then this goes to level three. And then if I press it again, you will see the vent sign disappear. That means now the setting will be running at recirculation at the reduced level and then the medium level and then the higher level. So now to quickly uh, go through this again, so if, if the fan speed is one, which is reduced to one level, if you see the vent blinking, that means for 20 minutes it's ventilating, for 40 minutes it's recirculating. Then the same thing, but at a high, uh, at a little higher speed, then this is the max speed for the full vent and recirculation setting. Then when it goes to the next level, only recirculation setting stays and then the fat, fan speed can be changed. Now we have two more settings to go through. One is eco and the max. So first easiest one is max. If you wanna quickly ventilate your house, press max, then it will be running the HRV at the maximum speed for 20 minutes. If I press it again, it's running for 40 then it's running for 60. So if you press max and quickly want to ventilate, you can choose 20, 40, 60 minute timer. It's very similar to what you have in the washroom so that a quick ventilation can be performed. Then the next setting is eco. So it also says auto if you say, so if I press eco, what it does is it enables the automatic operation of the ventilation system. So it uses the information available for indoor and outdoor humidity and the weather conditions, and it will run, it will choose the speed and the time automatically for the ventilation to keep your house in the best shape. So now before we go to the additional option settings, you see the humidity number here. It says 44% and it says inside. So that's the indoor related humidity of the house right now. So now to access additional settings, 
press and hold on the option box. When you do that, it shows you number so that within that five second, you have to press next to get access to the additional settings. So the first one, if you see here, it it's the night preferences. So when you're sleeping, what settings do you want? So if I press next in this, then it will go to the next setting. But in this right now, I can choose the setting. So if you see, this is the event. This is the uh, fan speed. So I can change all those settings what I want. And then I can also recirculate it or I can keep it off. But let's say I want went at the medium speed uh, and then it will do that then during the day. Now, if you see that here, you will see like a sign of sun. So that means the setting is for day. And now you can choose your settings or your preferences in this one. So you can, again, your ventilation, your recirculation, or you can put it off. Then the next setting is your relative humidity. So the default possible values for the indoor relative humidity is between 30 to 80%. By default, it's set to 45. So I'm leaving it to 45 for now, but as the weather changes, you can make it go uh, lower as like if the outdoor temperature goes to minus 30 or minus 35, then you can reduce the humidity to uh, 30% or 35%. And if I don't wanna change it, if I press next, you will see it will give me again five seconds to choose if I wanna make any other changes or it will take me back to the main screen. So now the last setting that I wanna explain is which you don't see here is a filter maintenance reminder. So if it's 90 days since you haven't cleaned your filter or is also the system is automatically set at three months or 90 days setting that it will give you a reminder for the filter um, uh, cleaning, it will bring that sign here. So it's like a filter sign with multiple like lines through it. So it's like a rhombus shape that will show up here. To reset that, first make sure you're cleaning your filter for the HRV, then hold the option box here. Then when you go next and you go through these settings, you will actually see um, a maintenance reset option. So what you need to do is at the time when you see the maintenance reset option, press that uh, next button for three seconds to reset that uh, sign. And then once that sign is reset, then it will give you another reminder in 90 days. So thanks for watching the video. I hope this video will explain most of the things regarding the Fantech settings. Um, please subscribe to the channel as I'll be posting more videos related to Fantech and other home maintenance. Uh, so please like, the, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.